Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to Posty Fest in Dallas. It's basically Post Malone's festival type thing. And um, there's going to be a whole bunch of artists there. So I'm really, really excited. My ticket was really expensive. So yeah, but um, the concert starts at 2 and it's 11.25 right now. So yeah, and I think I'm going to leave to go out there around like 1 something. So that's why I'm getting ready so early. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my eyes off camera because I didn't want to like fill up this whole video with just my eye makeup. So, and my face does take a while. So, yeah, but it's um, almost 12 now. It's 11:56 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my face, and then my hair shouldn't take long. And then all I have to do is iron my shirt and my skirt, and then just get dressed, and I'm good to go. I'm gonna do a walkthrough of like my face makeup because um, I feel like I have never really like done that. I'm like showing you guys actually what I do for my face. So I've just been using the Yinsa Color and Face Essential Primer thing and my camera's back to going to pink so this is great. But um, I've just been using this as my primer and it's been working pretty well so we're just gonna stick with it. The foundation I'm using is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I've been using this one and I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna use it again today. Okay, so the reason I'm using a beauty blender this time instead of my brush that I use like every single time to do my foundation is because, um, guys, I don't know what happened right here, but okay, I'm getting off track. But it's because I don't want my makeup to be too cakey. So whenever I use a beauty blender, it like kind of soaks up the makeup a little bit. And whenever I use a brush, it doesn't. So it's more for coverage whenever I use a brush. But whenever I use a beauty blender, it kind of like soaks up a layer. So it's a little bit less full coverage. And that's kind of what I want. Because like I want a layer of foundation, but I also don't want it to be too thick. Because it's going to be really, really hot and I'm going to be sweating and... I just don't need all of that cakeness on my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking the same Hello Happy um, Soft Blur Foundation, but I'm just taking it in the shade six. And this is what I use to cream contour. So I'm just gonna take this and do like a little bit and then just kind of blend it out. Taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And just gonna conceal in all the light places I want to be highlighted. I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun powder mixture thing that I made. But it's basically just a mixture of Cody Airspun and this banana powder because the Cody Airspun by itself sometimes can give you a flashback. But with this like mixed in it, I haven't gotten flashback. So, all right, but now I'm going to just set the rest of the highlighting spots because I'm just gonna real quickly powder my face because it takes me a little bit but I just use the fit me loose finishing powder in the shade 15 light and then I use the um, the professional shine vanishing pro powder because I get really really shiny when it's like sweaty and stuff so I pack this crap on my face I'm gonna be taking this brush and I'm gonna be using the sunshine um, Rimmel, Rimmel Natural Bronzer, whatever it's called. I love this stuff. It's really, really good. I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. All right, I'm gonna be taking the Rockator blush with that same brush, and I'm just gonna be applying this. This used to be my absolute favorite blush, and then I just stopped using it. But, um... It's definitely still a staple. I'm just gonna put some blush on my nose. I really, really like the blushed look. And I'm taking my Mario Badescu facial setting spray or facial spray. I'm just gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown highlighter. I'm gonna spray my highlighting brush. Just get some on there. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit, and then 
I use that as like the base of all my highlights. And then I take my Anastasia Glow Kit in sugar. Go back in with my, my spray. And then I get whatever highlighter I actually want to make it pop in. So I'm gonna use butterscotch and a little bit of marshmallow. Marshmallow just makes it really, really high. Like really, really white. So I don't like to use too much of marshmallow. But if you want like a, that bam highlight so you can see it from miles away, I definitely recommend you add a little bit of marshmallow to, to it whenever you're highlighting. Okay, so I just finished getting ready. Um, I just bought this Thrasher shirt and I cut it into a crop top. I'm wearing this black bralette, this orange skirt. Um, I got this from Zoomies. This from a store called Image or no a store called edge and then i got this from zoomies as well and it's just a adidas fanny pack that has the like adidas name on it and then it just goes all the way around and then i'm just wearing my black old school bands and then i have like orange socks peeking out but this is the fit you guys hope y'all like it all right you guys so my mom is about to take me to the concert. Am I ready to go? She just took my pictures. And the concert's in Dallas, so it's like, it's 1.47. We're gonna go get food and then she's gonna take me. Oh my God, y'all, I made it. I'm so excited. So we got water, we got lemonade, and now we're finally going over to the stage. We just waited like for out, like how long did we wait in line? Like two hours. Maybe like two hours just to get shirts, and we didn't even get our sizes. I got a large, she got an extra large. <laughs>
it was so much fun. And um, I literally like bawled my eyes out. I'll insert some clips at the end. I cried so much when Thirsty Man came out. So it was pretty fun. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, then I'm pretty sorry. I know I enjoyed it, but um, yeah, just subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and turn the notification post notifications on if you want to be notified whenever I post my next video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I that's insane. Oh my god, I love you guys so much, and I want to do like a special something, but I have no idea what I should do. So let me know what down below, like what I should do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Anyways, bye, love you.